So you are right in the middle of this. Um, let's just start with when you realized you, you're a startup, you've got money at this bank, you're using that money to make payroll and other things. When did you find out something was wrong? So my co-founder, Audrey Wu, and I received an email from one of our seed investors. Um, the email seemed cryptic. It was strange. It was urgent. Uh, it was not like the other emails he sends. And we were in meetings. You know, we run a busy maternal health startup. We have so many concerns every day that this email just didn't make sense. So a few hours later, I called the investor and I said, hey, what was this email about? He was out of breath, like he had just run a marathon. And he said, take your money out of SBB. Go into your account, take your money out as soon as possible. And you know, as a business owner, my co-founder Audrey and I constantly think about two things. We think about our team, the people we employ and their families, and we think about our patients, the mothers, the new moms, and the families that we support and their families. And so for us, it was do this now, or else. Okay, and this was what, yesterday or the day before? This was yesterday between the hours of noon and 3 p.m. Okay, yesterday between the hours of noon and 3 p.m., you get this, so then you, you do it. You go and you, re and, and, and how does that happen? They, they actually give you the money? I mean, these are the three hours before the world fell apart. So what happened then? Well, we were incredibly lucky to have that news early from an investor. Um, we didn't withdraw the money immediately. You know, we're conscientious business owners. We spoke to a few other investors. We spoke to friends. I mean, I, this is like calls going off the hook for the last 36 hours. When we felt confident that this was going to be a crisis, Audrey acted fast. And this is the kind of fear that actually incites focus. We withdrew the money through transfers and wires as soon as possible. I mean, she was withdrawing small amounts, big amounts, just to not set off an AI that might limit our withdrawals. And we were able to remove, this was not our only bank account, but we were able to remove the majority of the funds so that what was left when the website crashed was below the two hundred and fifty thousand dollar FDIC. Right. So you have money limit. there, and I know for and the FDIC in, in terms of because the amount. I mean, obviously you had a lot more than that there. You were able to get that out. The amount that you have that's insured now by the FDIC, the two hundred fifty thousand. Your understanding is you're going to get that pretty much right away. What we're hearing is by Monday. 